This video simplifies a very complex subject. This video is not a substitute for legal advice, which should be sought in cases where the application of general principles is unclear. Hey, did you know in fall 2012, copyright law went through some major changes in Canada? One of the most interesting changes is the addition of the section called non-commercial user-generated content. Huh? It's also referred to as the mashup section. You see, a mashup is when you take things like text, pictures, or music and create something new. So it's like taking a picture, text, music, and mashing it together into one video. This new law now allows you to use copyrighted material in a mashup, under certain conditions of course. You've probably already done this anyway, but now the new law offers some protection. Cool, so I can create a video using images and music I find online? That's right, under certain conditions. Can I upload it to YouTube? Absolutely. Part of the new law states that you can make it available through a site like YouTube. So what are these conditions you keep mentioning? Well, the content you use in a mashup has to be a legitimate copy and not a pirated or illegal copy. Don't ever break the digital lock to use the material. For example, ripping a DVD encoded to prevent copying. There are huge fines for this. Make sure you cite the material you use, saying at the very least where you got the content and who created it. Make sure whatever you use doesn't impact the market for the material, such as using an entire album in your video, which means people can now download the album for free through your video. If you purchase the material through a contract, like with iTunes or iStock Photo, that contract might prevent you from using the item in a mashup, so check the terms of use you agreed to. And please note, this new law applies to non-commercial mashups. If you're selling or promoting something, then you'll have to pay to license all the content you want to use. Geez, those are a lot of conditions. Well, this new law is pretty great and they want to make sure people don't exploit it. But if you find the conditions too restrictive, there are a ton of copy left resources available online. These are materials that have agreements or licenses that either reduce or remove copyright limitations. Um. What I'm trying to say is that you can often use copy left resources in your mashups even if they don't meet the conditions set out in the mashup law. Visit this page to see some popular places to find these resources. studentcopyright.wordpress.com slash resources. Okay, but what if I'm confused about what I can and cannot use? Just contact the library for a second opinion. Visit our website at library.senecacollege.ca and click on Ask Us. You can call, email, chat, whatever. We've got you covered.